Hello, welcome to RubyCast. My name is James Giffords, and today we are going to talk about Vagrant. So first of all, head to vagrantup.com and take a look at, around. Um, Vagrant is an easy way to manage virtual machines. It's as simple as a Vagrant box add box name, uh, and then you link to the box Vagrant init, and then you run Vagrant up, and then you have a virtual machine on running on your computer. Uh, you currently uses VirtualBox as the back end, so you need to have that installed. I already have that installed, but if you do not have it installed, head over to virtualbox.org. Go to Downloads, and there you go. So now let's go to the terminal and install Vagrant. Vagrant is distributed as a Ruby gem, so we can just do gem install Vagrant. And then we can do Vagrant in it and let's take a look at the boxes we already have defined so we can do vagrant box list and we're going to use the lucid32 and so now we open up the vagrant file which is where we define our VMs so here it says config VM box base we don't want to call this base we want to use the lucid32 We also want to have a bridged network, which means that this box will have its own IP address uh, on our network. And there are a lot of different other options. For example, you can use Puppet or Chef to um, handle provisioning your server, but uh, we're not going to go into that right now. Now we can do Vagrant up. We already created this VM because that normally takes a while. So what it's doing here is it's booting the VM, creating shared folders, and now it's going to ask us which bridge network we're going to use. Now I am on the Wi-Fi, so I want to use Dublin 0, so we're going to use 1. Now the VM is booting. And while we are waiting for that, we will take a look at the Vagrant documentation. So you head over to Vagrant Up, and then click the documentation button. And here they have a list, full list of commands, including the built-in help. Uh, we can look at the Vagrant file. And it talks, you know, they, they, they list all the different options that you have, box URL, you can set the MAC address of the box. Uh, you can set the host shell. Uh, we can t look at the bridge networking instructions. Um, the documentation on Vagrant is very well done. All right, so now that the VM is booted, we can simply do Vagrant status, and it will show us the status of our Vagrant VMs. Currently, the default VM is running. And to halt, and to stop the VM, in other words, to send the shutdown signal, we can do Vagrant halt. We can uh, suspend it, so pause the, the virtual machine with Vagrant suspend, and we're going to 
look into doing SSH, we're going to do vagrant SSH hyphen config. And it tells us here's the host name, which is 127.0.0.1. Username's vagrant, port is 2 or 2222. Known host file is dev null. No password authentication. And we have our own uh, insecure private key. Then we can do, simply to get into the VM, we can do vagrant SSH. And here it is, Ubuntu 10.04 LTS, welcome to Ubuntu. And we can do LSB release minus A, and then we get you know pretty much the same stuff that we just talked about, uname minus A, we get information about the host name, the Linux kernel version, and then finally we can run if config, and we will see up here that it actually has two IP addresses. So it has 10.0.2.15, which is the IP address that we are currently accessing it from. And it also has 192.168.2.157, which is the IP address on my local machine. So if we exit and we ping 192.168.2.157, we will get a response back. We can also do ssh vagrant at that IP address, simply enter in the default vagrant password, and we are in. For more information, again, take a look at the documentation, uh, read through it. There is a lot of information here. You can also head over to vagrant box.es for a list of publicly available Vagrant base boxes. So for example, let's say we want to have a uh, CentOS 6.0 64-bit box. We can use this. We can click the box and we have um, you know, we, it has instructions. We add we run that we initialize the minimal CentOS, and we run Vagrant up, and it loads. And if you make a Vagrant box, and there's documentation on the Vagrant, there's there's stuff, there's information in the Vagrant documentation site uh, for making a box. If you make a box, you can uh, go and let them know about it. So we can just say Ubuntu 1204 release, which hasn't been released yet, but it will be shortly. We can include some information, and then we include a URL to the base box, which we uploaded on the internet, and then we click suggest, and then he will look through it, and he will uh, add it to the site if he thinks it is worth suggest adding. Thank you for watching.